Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to talk about Cricut keyboard shortcuts. So keyboard shortcuts have been around with Cricut Design Space for a really long time, but the latest update released all kinds of new ones that I myself am really excited about. Now Cricut does have a printable sheet with all of the shortcuts for both Windows and Mac iOS. And I will link to the printable sheet in the description below. So if you want to print the shortcut sheet, then head to the description below this video. If you're on computer, click show more below the video. If you're on mobile, click the arrow to expand the description or swipe up on the video depending on how you're watching. Now in this video, I will go through each of the shortcuts, what they are and what they do right in Cricut Design Space so you can see them in action. But sometimes having a printable sheet next to you while you're designing and learning those keyboard shortcuts is super, super helpful. Now, I myself love keyboard shortcuts. A lot of people don't like them and don't use them and that's okay. So all of these shortcuts, you can perform a different way in Cricut Design Space using your mouse. But if you like using your keyboard and keyboard strokes for quick and easy functions in programs like Cricut Design Space, this is the video for you. So let's head to Cricut Design Space and take a look at the keyboard shortcuts. First up, if you have a project in your canvas and you want to save it, you can hit Control or Command, hold that down, and click S. And it'll open up the Save dialog box. Type in the name of your project and click Save. Now let's say I move this piece over. Didn't mean to. I want to undo that. Control, hold it down, and click Z, and that will move it back. Again, when I say Control Z, I am on a PC, but if you're on a Mac, it's Command. If I want to redo that action, so I accidentally undid it, I would hold Control and Shift and then press Z again, and it would redo that action. So I'm just gonna undo that again with Control Z. This background is your grid. If you wanna toggle that to different types of grid, you hold Shift and then click G, and you can see it can go away, and it can be a larger grid lines or the smaller grid lines. To change each of those, I just held my Shift key down and kept hitting the G key. Now let's say I want to cut or remove one of these pieces, you could click the piece, Control X cuts it, Control V pastes it back onto your canvas, Control C will copy it, and then Control V would paste if you wanted to make a duplicate copy. So cut Control X, copy Control C, paste Control V. Now if I want to duplicate something, I can click Control D. That makes a duplicate copy of that. So then I don't have to press Control C and Control V, I can just do Control D to duplicate. If I have multiple pieces on my canvas like this, I can do Control A to select them all, and that will select everything on my canvas. If I want to select none, so I don't want anything selected at this point, I could click escape on the keyboard and that would remove any selection. And then let's do control A to select all and we'll do control G and it grouped everything together. You can see over here. And if I wanted to ungroup that, you do control shift and G and that ungroups your objects. If I wanted to bring this yellow flower forward, you can do control and the right bracket and that will bring it forward, hit it one more time, brings it forward again. The left bracket sends it backwards, so holding the control button, hitting the left bracket, it sends it backwards one more time all the way to the back. If I wanted to bring this yellow flower all the way to the front, I could hold down control and shift and do the right bracket and it would bring it all the way to the front. Same thing for sending it all the way to the back. Hold down Control and Shift and hit the left bracket and it sends it all the way to the back. To zoom in, we can use Control and the plus key on the keyboard to zoom in. You can hold down Control and click the minus button on the keyboard to zoom out. You can also do this with the wheel of the mouse. So holding down Control and moving the mouse wheel up zooms in while moving the mouse wheel down while holding Control zooms out. So you can do either or with your mouse or the plus and minus key on your keyboard. Now if you want to zoom to 100%, hold down control and click zero and that zooms to 100%. If you want to zoom to fit the screen, control plus the number one and that fits it to your screen. If you wanted to zoom to a selection, so let's say I have this blue piece selected, I would do control and the number two and now it zooms into that selection. Let's say I wanted to zoom to a very specific selection. I would hold the Z button down, 
my mouse changes to a magnifying glass and then I would just drag a box around where I wanted to zoom to and release. And then I could zoom to a very specific area of my canvas. If you want to pan around the canvas, hold the space bar down and then drag around the canvas. And you can see that my cursor changes to a hand and I can then pan around the canvas itself by holding the space bar down. If I want to duplicate something, I can hold the Alt key down. You'll see my cursor changes to a cursor with a plus sign beside it. And then I click any object and drag over to the side. And now I have two of those flowers. That did move one of my flowers to the front, but again, we can move it to the back with Control, Shift, and the left bracket. Now we have two of those yellow flowers and we could use the same Alt and drag to duplicate any of the other pieces. All right, so hopefully this video helped you learn a little bit more about keyboard shortcuts. Maybe you'll give them a try, maybe you won't, but hopefully you learned a little bit more anyway. Again, if you wanna print the sheet, it's in the description below this video. Click the link, grab the sheet, print it, keep it by your computer for a little while until you learn all those keyboard shortcuts. So if you have any questions about anything we've covered, drop down in the comment section, ask away. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of them. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.